Okay, so thought you released another sneak peek in case you don't know paw got sneaked yay hip hip hooray whatever um that you know what time it is that means that we have to do another sort of update five update video if that makes sense um it's nothing it's not gonna be anything crazy because in fact the last update five video i made was literally two weeks ago and paw news is pretty much the only thing we've gotten i just kind of want to review all of the devil fruits that will be coming to gpo in update five that have been 100 percent confirmed this is not to say that this will be all of the devil fruits it'll most likely be all of the devil fruits but these are the ones that are 100 percent for certain coming in update five which is really great to hear also in my last update five video i said that mid-april um is probably when we would be getting update five considering the fact that i mean we've gotten a good amount of sneaks i do think it will be end of april or did i say that i don't know regardless of what i said in the last video i'm saying now that probably end of april anyway um the first fruit that got sneaked the one that we knew has been coming for a long time is mochi now mochi uh, was a bit of an underwhelming fruit people were kind of upset with how it got sneaked i personally wasn't too underwhelmed i was a little bit but not too underwhelmed i, ke I kept it mainly whelmed uh how my reaction was so yeah but people did really complain that it didn't seem like it would be good for anything and that the visuals just weren't great and everything about it was just kind of mid to bad um again i didn't personally feel this way i did think it was a little bit more mid on the mid side but i didn't think it was that bad per se um but they listened for once for you listened to the community and now they will be um adding a move of the community's choice which i think has already been picked i think it's some spiky roller donut move whatever skill they chose for it um regardless it's nice to be heard as a community it doesn't happen too frequently so we savor it when it does um but yeah mochi looks okay i guess from a community standpoint i think it looks pretty good personally the next fruit that got sneaked after mochi was actually gecko moria's shadow or kage fruit and kage is pretty cool because it's kind of one of those fruits that we didn't really see too too much of on how it was used like it was kind of used in the same way over and over in the anime so they took a lot of creative liberties which was very nice and the fruit actually does look very very good now for pve you know dungeons leveling it doesn't look too great but for pvp it looks like it would dominate it looks so good honestly for pvp kage is probably our best fruit it got a true combo extender solid guard breaks a really good looking alt you know just everything about its kit was just looking phenomenal uh it gets a transportation move sort of it gets like a, a, a long range dash pretty much or mid to long range dash i guess you can call it um but yeah that move is like it's only like pretty mid to bad move uh, everything else looks really really good i'm very excited if i'm gonna get one of these fruits to be honest i never thought if you had told me that these three fruits were coming that i'd want kage the most but i definitely do want kage the most it just looks the best it also looks pretty fun and that's that's a, that's just great and not to mention that it's a shadow fruit i mean that's pretty badass is that itself so can't be too too upset about that I mean, the ult is also very very creative never seen an alt like this in gpl a lot of the alts are just big aoe either long lasting skills or just short burst of damage charge no charge sort of explosion multi-hit skills you know those are like the that, that's how it varies you got magu and pika alts you got goro mera alts you got ito's alt which is literally just aoe that does damage uh, even pause alt I haven't gotten to that yet, but it's just also an AoE Mochi's ult. I can't remember. Oh, Mochi's ult is again just an AoE big set of swings, which is a bit more unique, but still nothing too crazy. But Kage's ult, Kage's ult is phenomenal. You create, in case you don't know, you create a shadow version of yourself. You separate your shadow from you, and then your shadow will attack on its own, doing its own thing along with you attacking. So you pretty much just tag team your opponent it's really cool really interesting i was very shocked when i saw it very surprised very happy to see it so that is phenomenal 
the next and most recent fruit that we just got um is paw obviously or the what was it i can't remember what the japanese name for it is regardless the paw fruit paw looks great good i don't know to be honest with you it looks i mean no it looks cool um you're given a solid kit with um a solid guard break yeah i think it only has one guard break um plus the ult so two guard breaks i guess um the base skill you know is just a shot it looks pretty cool um you're given a similar skill almost a reskin skill just shorter range and you make it a guard break uh, then you're given the barrage. The barrage does look, you know, decent. It kind of just looks like Gum Gatling, though. Just farther range, but more narrow, I think. That's just kind of what it looks like to me. Maybe a shorter windup, too. Um, then you have the transportation skill. The transportation skill is a very interesting, but it almost feels a little like you're not really going to use it too much. Uh, I don't think it has a timer on it. I think once you place it, it'll stay there forever until you use it, which is nice. And you can also take people with you. Whoever's near you when you pop it will come with you, which is also very interesting. And they actually demonstrated it. I didn't catch this. Uh, they did demonstrate it in the video that you can go, like the range I think is infinite because they just went to shells and then they teleported back using the transportation skill with, and they brought someone with them. So that's really cool really interesting very happy to see that they kind of nodded to that like how in the anime um uh what was his name bartholomew uh, like um knock the straw hats from island to island spoiler alert i guess i don't know if you haven't watched the anime but playing the game whatever um knock them from island to island it's not really the same but again that's kind of a hard mechanic to implement so i'm happy to see that they at least went for it at least they tried to implement it even though this is a bit of an odd way of doing it and almost like i feel like it's going to be a hard thing to use in game and actually make practical use of since people don't really play main game like that and in pvp i mean i guess in pvp you could use it to escape combos that would be interesting but i feel like you would end up taking your opponent with you on accident because you know you're kind of close to each other and i can only imagine you're using it when you're trying to escape combos but regardless it is what it is um what else do you have guard break barrage transportation i feel like i'm missing a skill but regardless uh then you have the ult uh i definitely am missing a skill but it's okay uh the ult is uh um a charged shot you make a paw and then you compress it down you can charge this more to increase the damage charge it less and then it'll do less damage obviously and then it'll just you know throw it out a little aoe whatever not that interesting it's kind of a boring ult in my opinion oh that's the skill i forgot the counter i think the counter in my opinion is probably one of the best things that paul offers considering the fact that it's a full damage counter the only thing that sucks about it is i believe that the range is um it's a close range counter so if somebody checks out like a high can a light kick magu hound magu fist ice partisan ice pheasant sort of skill and snipes you with it then and you counter it sure the damage will be negated but you kind of don't really get anything out of it you won't hit them because it's a close range counter the blast that it lets out is very close to you so you can't really you know reap the benefits of it which is a little annoying but again it is a full damage counter so you can't be too too upset about it if somebody chucks out an ult right next to you and um you know you counter it then they're gonna eat the full damage of that ult so that's that's a really as a make or break sort of thing uh, I, I can imagine that being really useful against people like Gura users considering the fact that Gura is more of a close range fruit and it deals high damage so i feel like paw would probably make a really solid counter for Gura. So that is nice. Again, I think all three of these fruits that I mentioned on this list are um, legendaries. I heard people saying that Mochi would be a mythical. I don't know why it would be, to be honest with you. I know that it's a special paramecia that so has like sort of acts like a logia in the anime, but I don't see as why that's a reason for it to be a mythical. Uh, if they did confirm somewhere that it's a mythical and I'm just an idiot, let me know, whatever. But I just don't think it is. Regardless, I think these fruits will all be pretty good in their own respective rights. Um, I don't think that really Mochi or Paw will be game-breakingly good like um, so like Kage is going to be. I really think Kage is going to be super, super good. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but like 
it's just this gut feeling like when i looked at those skills when i saw the guard breaks combo extenders the all everything about it, it just seems so perfect other than the fact that it has a transportation move i mean transportation moves in pvp are almost useless but i feel like this one just being a short bursted and like dash it could actually be useful to escape combos and i think honestly it's probably the best transportation move for pvp i'm not gonna lie so I think we're looking at a very, very, very good fruit. And it's very unexpected that Kage would be the best one, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to inform everybody who didn't know, show glimpses of each of the fruits, you know, talk about them, just let you know what was coming. Well, because, you know, seeing three different videos uh, about reactions on these new, uh, um, what's it called? Devil fruits might not be your cup of tea. You might just want to finish it in a little 10 minute video. So there you go there's all your information those are the fruits i will see you guys next time i hope you enjoyed peace